Howdy folks, Josh here with The Weekend Angler, back with another Short Tip Saturday video. And in this video, I'm going to be going over a few things that you can do while traveling with your boat and trailer that will reduce your chances of becoming a victim of theft. So stick around. Right, guys my wife and I are headed to Wisconsin for several days to fish up at Lake Mendota now while we're going to be up there we don't necessarily want to have to leave the trailer connected to the truck all the time for instance trying to fit into a parking lot at a restaurant with a boat trailer could be a big pain in the butt so we want to be able to disconnect the trailer from the truck leave it but we want the boat trailer and boat to still be there when we get back so what I'm going to go over is a few things that you could do to help secure your belongings. We're going to do it on a budget. I think it's gonna help you guys out if you travel with your boat and trailer also. All right guys, the first thing we're going to focus on in securing our boat trailer is the coupler itself. A lot of the newer couplers already have a thing built in for you to attach a padlock through there. Mine is old enough and it's a different type and it doesn't. But that didn't stop me from being able to secure it. Let's go ahead and move over. I'll show you what I did including a little DIY thing that I did for this particular boat trailer and I believe it could work for yours too. Let's go ahead. Alright guys, there you can see the trailer coupler on my trailer. This happens to be the Atwood 2 inch trailer coupler. There was not a provision to attach a padlock of any kind, but that didn't stop me. If you look right there, right behind the slide, We've put a small hole. There's a matching one on the other side of the boat trailer. And that's going to allow us to put one of these shackle style padlocks through there. And that's going to prevent this trailer coupler from being able to slide back far enough to fit over a ball. But I've got one more thing that's going to help secure this even more. Go ahead and take our shackle out. Guys, this is a two inch ball that I had laying around. Using my cutoff saw, I cut the lower threads off of that, drilled the bottom, tapped it for a quarter by 20 threads, and attached a short section of chain with a carabiner. So what we can now do, shove that ball up into the hitch, bring it forward, we'll put our padlock through, drop our carabiner onto there, lock it up, and now our trailer coupler is secure. But let's take it a step further. Follow me. All right, moving on to the trolling motor. My trolling motor happens to be equipped with a quick release bracket that allows me to remove the trolling motor if I want to. But it also has an area for a lock, and that's what we're going to be installing right now. We'll take, put our lock into position. Put it in there. And now our trolling motor is locked in position. All right, another thing we could do to help secure our trailer while we're on the road is real simple. We're gonna be adding a cable lock. And what we'll do, we'll work this thing around. Secure it up and over the frame of the trailer. And then get everything set. For added security, you could add a locking lug nut, but just adding the cable lock on its own makes this where even if they do remove your wheel, they still have a cable lock to contend with. They've got to figure out some way of managing that tire. And most thieves are not going to bring an extra trailer tire and wheel with them when they come to steal your boat. All right, let's talk about the contents of your boat. Nobody wants to have to bring everything out of their boat into the hotel room and then bring it back out 
every day. It's too much stuff going on. So what I've done is I have installed some of these cabinet locks into my compartment panels. I picked these up at Lowe's. They were about $5 a piece. Now I installed locks in my compartments and in my rod lockers. All right guys, there you have it. Several quick and easy things you can do to your boat and trailer that will just help reduce the chances of becoming a victim of theft. Now one thing I can't stress enough is to remember a lock only keeps an honest person honest. Guys, a thief with enough time and motivation can defeat just about any security device, whether it's cheap or whether it costs a fortune. Guys, all you can do is really make your boat and trailer a more difficult target in the hopes that a potential thief would leave it alone and seek of a softer target. Guys, that's all I've got for this one. I hope this video has helped you out. If it has, please take a moment and give it that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, I try to do one of these short tip videos every week covering a fishing or boating related topic. If you like that, take a moment, hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell. That will give you a notification anytime I post a new video or go live. So guys, until next time, we'll catch you out on the water. Appreciate you watching the weekend angler.